Well, hey everybody, Pastor Matt here with your Daily RPM. Happy Friday. Don't forget to give us a like and a share. Hey, we're finishing up our series this week on the parable of the talents, Matthew chapter 25. There was a time I went out to my kids' little playhouse out in the yard, and I was doing some yard work, and I got into their playhouse, and there was all sorts of, of different toys and crayons and magic markers out there that they had played with at one time, left out there, and just totally forgot. And then they outgrew it and just didn't want to do it again, so we had to throw all that stuff in the trash. You know what? That third servant in the parable of the talents, he was given one talent. The Bible says he buried it, did nothing with it, and when the master came back, he was furious. He was so upset because he wanted increase on his money. And he judged that servant harshly. As a matter of fact, he said, take him out and put him where there's weeping and gnashing of teeth. That's a severe judgment. Here's what I want you to know. There are things God has given us, talent he's given us. The worst thing we can do is bury it. Maybe we're like my kid, play with it for a little while, do something with it for a little while then forget about it. I don't want us, God doesn't want us to forget about the talents, the callings, the giftings, and the commissions he's given us. He wants us to be mindful of those things every single day. So I challenge you, do you have any buried talent? Do you have any buried giftings? As we go into this weekend, you might want to reflect has there something God has told me to do that I've buried? Is there something, a dream he's given me that I've buried? Is there a gifting that I used to serve and I'm no longer serving, I've buried it? It's time to get it up out of the ground and be faithful with it and be fruitful with it. That is the will of God. Have a great weekend. I'll see you Monday. If you like this video, like and share, and follow my dad on Pastor Matt Ministries.